Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about um, proven benefits of olive oil and like olive oil hacks, what more can olive oil do besides um, helping with your health benefits like um, reducing inflammation, lowering red blood pressure, protecting your heart um, from but just protecting your heart to stay healthy and much more. But today I want to talk about different things that you can do with olive oil, like an olive oil hacks or um, useful ideas. So let's just dive in. Olive oil um, is used to, you can use it to lubricate your doors around your houses, the hinges or um, wooden doors. Also, uh, I know for like wooden cutting boards, you can use those for to um, soak in on brand new cutting boards or even your cast iron skillets. You can use olive oil to prevent rust. A lot of people use um, olive oil for face scrubs as well and mixing olive oil and oatmeal and cream and different stuff to make uh, face masks or face scrub. So olive oil has those benefits as well. Have you ever thought about um, putting olive oil on your grills? I know we said um, cast iron skillets, but perhaps even your um, grills outside or um, iron knobs or something like that. So that can um, be beneficial as well. Um, using olive oil, not only for to help our dry skin, but also maybe like massaging oil to like massage your little baby's feet or massage um, you yourself, right? And back in the day, um, we used olive oil, well, baby oil, but if you don't have baby oil, olive oil and iodine and mix it together to make us a, a tanning um, solution to help us get tanner, tanner faster. Um, but then again, that not recommended. I'm just saying um, the reason it's not recommended because we don't want you to burn your skin. But in the 80s, let me tell you, we walked around like golden goddesses. I'm sure we look like leather these days. But back then, that's what we used to do is put iodine with our oil and then mix it together and then lay out in the sun and just bake with the music blaring our ghetto blasters and whatnot. But getting off i'm getting off on a note okay have you ever thought about using um olive oil for like shaving cream um so you have a smooth shave i also know that um you can make a furniture cleaner with olive oil and some people use um vinegar as well or um you can also use um lemon juice as well but just make sure if you before you're doing that don't come for me um, if you're going to do that with your furniture or any type of cleaning, I want you to try a small section first. And if you don't like the results of that, then don't use it on your whole um, piece of furniture. Just FYI. Um, soften hands and cuticles before um, with applying your olive oil, maybe at nighttime. Or maybe um, you do your own home care pedicures, manicures because I know the prices of them are expensive these days. So um, for a cuticle, to help your cuticles, um, perhaps olive oil, even um, for all of us that are home care providers as well, that's a nice um, thing that you can do for your clients as well, is make something nice for their hands. And so we're always looking for different ideas on um, how to use our olive oil or different things that we have around a house to make not only our dollar stretch, but also um to have more natural ways of doing things right so like i was saying massage hands and feet after um it says after waxing or re or to reduce stickiness i i have done that like um waxing off the mustache or whatever and it leaves that stickiness from waxing i'm um, using it's ideal to put olive oil on a cotton ball to get it all feel all nice and smooth um, just saying that is a very helpful um, um, tip. Also, I liked olive oil um, for like waterproof mascaras and different stuff like that. The harder makeups to get off, I find that it can be helpful. Just be very careful when you go around your eyes. Um, this is manage frizz in your hair by using olive oil instead of chemical sprays. I just know that you just don't pour it on your hair. You could um, either put it on your hair at nighttime 
and then sleep with it and then the next day all your hair is absorbed all that nice yummy um, nutrients or if you want to um, put some in a spray bottle or a or put some on your hands then apply it to the ends of your hair first um, and then go up towards your scalp I know that that's very beneficial as well um have you ever thought about read um the zippers that stick it says here I'm looking at my computer screen but it says that um apply olive oil to a a stuck zipper to help move sm smoothly so all I can picture is either add it to your finger because you don't really want it to you don't want it to stain your clothes or maybe even a q-tip and see and apply it to your zipper to see if it helps but my best guess is that if it's for a pair of jeans make sure you're out of your jeans first before doing it um, maybe you'll have better results that way um, applying olive oil to a stuck zipper to help it move smoothly and olive oil to pet food for a shiny coat. I not only have tried, um, I never put it on their food. I never thought to put it on their food, but I know for a little chihuahua, my grand, my daughter's chihuahua, um, coconut oil or um, olive oil is great for their coats, especially like they get out of the bath because I know that their skin can get dry really fast. And so um, for animals like, like such, I think that does have the benefit qualities to it, beneficial qualities to it. It says, um, create a lip balm by mixing olive oil and beeswax. Ooh, I gotta try that. I bet that is so luxurious on your lips, especially during um, the months that we're really outside and um, we need the extra little bit of, um, uh, X protection so uh, mixing olive oil with beeswax conditioning hair massaging it in the olive oil covering with a hot towel and washing off I've also done this with mayonnaise as well is like um, after, especially when I used to have platinum hair I would bleach my hair so much and so I know that it can be really good or what I used to do is before I go to bed and just put gobs of it and then put it up in a little top knot like this and then if you want to put something around your head so it doesn't get on your pillowcase um go right ahead but like i said even if it did find an older pillowcase and even if it does get on your pillowcase that's okay because it's also good for your face as well so it's it's almost like a two-in-one just saying um let's see polish brass items with olive oil to keep them shining i never thought about polishing brass items i know i've used ketchup um, on brass items to make them shiny but it says polished brass items with olive oil to keep them shiny so that is something I definitely want to look into as well and back to the basics of um, using olive oil to remove your makeup yes the traditional use of olive oil for removing earwax um, that's what they say but I always recommend consulting a doctor first um, I don't <laughs> <laughs> because you just don't want you get what I mean if I did do this I think I would put for myself I would put it like maybe on a um on a q-tip first but then again if you talk to the doctors you're not even supposed to put q-tips in your ears so like I said it's um this is just some of my research don't come for me uh, but it says traditional use of olive oil for removing earwax consult a doctor first um practicing oil pooling with olive oil for dental health this is you know what i think i'm definitely gonna i go to the dentist today um to get a filling but i think i'm gonna ask him about about that um oil pooling i really i think i'm gonna ask him to see how um i'm not sure if a, like the doctors and dentists really want you to be doing a lot of natural health stuff but i'm gonna ask and see what their thoughts or opinions are on it Okay, rub olive oil and on leather shoes and bags for shine. Yes, absolutely. I've even done this on my leather jackets um, because I used to have a beautiful leather jacket, like a biker's leather jacket with a fringe. And absolutely, I would rub at least olive oil on it once a year to keep it nice and pliable and to keep it shiny. Yes, absolutely. I agree with that. Um, See, and it says for exfoliator, you can mix sugar and um, olive oil for an exfoliator. And I think that's also really nice because 
um, it's getting that time of year where we are showing off more of our skin. So why not give it a good um, exfoliant, right? And to make it more vibrant again. And then just remember, um, after you exfoliate, put some of that moisture back into your skin as well. So maybe after you do your olive and sugar as an exfoliator and you take a shower, then I would definitely put a little bit more olive oil and let your um, skin set for a little bit, then then get dressed. But um, that is just my opinion. Olive oil to um, baby's bottoms to prevent, um, it says nappy rash. Hmm. Huh prevent diaper rashes is what I'm thinking because as it says apply olive oil to a baby's bottom to prevent nappy rash not sure what that is in a PPY but I'm thinking diaper rash so um that's that is beneficial as well so and then when you think of olive oil think about all the things that you can infuse with olive oil whether it be um garlic or chili rosemary um zim, lemon zest or like lemon zest and thyme or sun-dried tomatoes blue uh blood orange there's so many different things is that you can um infuse your olive oil with i even like my favorite is the lemon zest and the orange zest those are my favorite to do so if you have um any suggestions on what kind of hacks or what you would use olive oil for or maybe these are um, a time that you're like wow I didn't think to even try any of these if you do try them please come back to the video and leave it in the comments we would love to hear your story as well and if you haven't done so um, hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video and I'm the only person in the office right now. And so I get up and get back down, like whatever to turn on and off the video. That's why you'll see me up and then down like, ah. All right, everyone, have a good day.